the order filed by the Miami County prosecutor that prepares the court for Kagan Klein's guilty plea to all 25 counts of the child exploitation and child pornography charges lodged against him. Kagan Klein. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Update on the Delphi murders and uh, Ohio. Y'all boys out there in Ohio, you see what the man said? Child You're pornography up. charges lodged against him. Kick and Klein has been sitting in the Miami County Jail since the summer of 2020, facing dozens of criminal charges after a probe of his social media travels that linked him to the investigation of the murders of Libby German and Abby Williams below the Monon High Bridge. <laughs> What's up with it? White Boy Radio back with another one. Little update on the Delphi murders. Uh, that case is a real sad case, man. I feel like them girls have been uh, almost forgotten. It's been so long, such weird circumstance. But we do have a little bit of uh, news in regards to the beginning. Pio uh, going, to co going to court facing all that misery that I played in the beginning. His name is Keegan Klein. And uh, that article will be in the description. What they say is even though he has all those ridiculous charges, I believe, on his phone, there's a connection between him and the person in jail uh, responsible for the murders of Libby and Abby. Um, been a long time coming for that family. You know... 20 some odd counts of child exploitation and child porn. Um, that's disgusting. Unfortunately, the way what was discussed is he's going to go to court and waive trial and sign something that's going to keep him separate uh, away, and 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 he's not going to he he's not going to be forced or there's no agreement with him to help the murder suspect. So whatever connection is there uh, on these weirdo charges, he'll be free of that, uh, you know, versus maybe like the uh, Harmony, Harmony, Harmony Montgomery case where they kind of utilized the stepmom, okay, against uh, her dad. Um, well, there's nothing we can do much about that, uh, you know, so we'll have to wait for the outcome of the murder suspect. But for this guy, what I do know is uh, he's going to Ohio. He's in jail as of now. And uh, that's a lot of charges. That's a lot of child exploitation. And that's a lot of weird stuff to have on anyone's phone. And what I do know is from doing prison interviews, I have a good interview on the channel. I'll put it in the end screen from a guy out of Ohio. The Ohio is about the... Uh, the a gang there. What was the gang called? Uh, I'll remember it. But there's a there's a gang in Ohio, and that that video has a lot of views because in the comments of that video, there's so much arguing, and it's all guys that have came out of Ohio, and they're arguing that um, this guest that I had on this gang that he was talking about, uh, they're arguing that he doesn't have his facts right. And that, 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 that how Ohio prison is really like this way. So meat potatoes here is there's a lot of debate inside those comments of that video of how the Ohio prison system is. You can actually learn a lot about the Ohio prison system if you watch that uh, video. So it's interesting now to learn that this guy's going to go there. You know, um, regardless if he has any ties with the girls or not. He still did a lot of weird ass shit, and uh, I can't wait for him to get to prison. And I think if you follow that case, you're right there with me. Um, he is, uh, he has got a really, really bad rap sheet for any institution. And when he walks through the doors from day one, he's gonna have a hard, hard time. And I do know Ohio is, they ain't playing around up there. They ain't playing around. Um, there's, it doesn't matter who he gets involved with, it doesn't matter he can't join a gang. Um, you know, Chomos, pedos have a bad, bad, bad stay in the prison system. They have a bad stay. 
you know, that's for a regular chomo. Um, because people look at them as they will the spat dude and say, hey, uh, you know, inmates talk, they gossip, uh, inmate.com. They're going to say, hey, that, you know that dude over there? First off, the case is big. It, uh, the Delphi murders, it's been going on so long now, people. You know, it, it's hard not to notice, at least you've seen it once or twice in headlines, media, social media, whatever. Inmates talk. They're going to look at each other and say, hey, you know the missing girls? And it's, and, and it's whoever he's talking to doesn't know the case and, and, and happens to say, no, nah, I haven't heard of that. The mystery of the question, hey, you know, the, you know that, that case with the missing girls? And then the next thing comes out. Is that guy over there? He's involved with them. And he got, a, he got 20 plus child exploitations and um, child porn stuff going on. Man, they're going to give it to him. The average guy, the average cholo has a bad time in prison because that same little conversation, the same gossip, the same inmate.com is, is usually about, uh, hey, that dude was that dude did some nasty stuff or some horrific things to a little boy, a little girl. But it, it's not often that conversation is, hey, he, 20 plus times. You know, it's usually just he did something to a, a, a little girl, a little, little, little boy. That dude is scarred. He's scarred. The definition of scarred is that dude, the fat dude. Out of there. Out of there. You know, so hopefully, man, we can get Ohio. I want to get this out on the interwaves to let people know that in Ohio, he's coming. He's definitely coming through the door. Uh, and let, hey, justice needs to be served the real way. Let the inmates take out the garbage. Just be, it doesn't matter what happens in court. It doesn't matter what happens. Um, and man, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it because we all know. Sometimes they get a slap on the wrist, but I don't see a judge, no way in hell, with 20 plus counts slapping him on the wrist. I just don't see it. All right, quick check. I just checked. CWB is the name of the gang out there in Ohio. I know them boys don't play. Um, the comment will be in the end screen of this video. Quick mention as well, though. They said this guy with this deal, he's, he's going to go face those charges. It's undetermined. We don't know if he has a real connection with the Delphi, the Delphi murders, and the um, the girls. The, the the thing about it is, this doesn't end anything. If if he does go to jail and, and hopefully gets railroaded and also gets railroaded inside prison, but what after that happens, he'll be he'll be detained. Uh, he'll be detained as long as they don't slap him on the wrist. You know, it's very possible that if he is found to be in connection with the case, uh, they will um, give him additional time. He won't, he won't get out. He'll, uh, they'll put a hold on him from prison. He'll go to the nearest county jail. And they'll book him in, take him back, and he'll have to go through the process all over again uh, without even getting a breath, a breath of fresh air. And if that is the case, um, that's good. Uh, he shouldn't get a breath of fresh air because of what he did to all of those children. And uh, it's sick. It's getting, it's, it's becoming too accepted in our society. Uh, it, it, it's getting disgusting. We, every day we are getting further and further away from God. And that is not good. And it doesn't matter what your religious stance is. Uh, I don't want to push anything on you. I do believe in Jesus. I believe, I believe in God. Um, you, you, you personally don't have to. Shout out to my ones who that do have faith. What you never do, ever, is hurt, exploit a kid, children, a minor, anybody, but definitely not children. And you don't do weird things, touching children, having inappropriate pictures of children on your phone or whatever have you, you don't even do it once. Not, a, not to mention 20 plus times. Uh, I have a good, good feeling that them boys in Ohio, CWB, to be uh, a little more to the point, are going to put it on this dude as he deserves it.
uh, as he deserves it. Uh, and I do have, from time to time, I've made a post. Sometimes inmates watch my show. And man, if you're watching it and you're out there in Ohio, or you've got people and you talk to, if you have people in the Ohio system, if you are a subscriber and you talk to them on the phone or whatever have you, hey, let them know. I'm not telling you to tell them to do anything. I'm just telling you sometimes inmates got to take the trash out. And uh, this guy's about to go to court and there's a big old garbage can, big fat one, about to walk through the door. That's all I'm saying. Until the next one, y'all, subscribe, share, like the video, and uh, below there's a member option if you can stand it. If you're on social media, it's at White Boy everywhere. So my subscribers, until the next one. If you ain't subscribed, I would love to have you. I can promise you one thing and one thing only. I have the coolest chat in the game. Until the next one.